What's up, YouTube? Welcome to new parenting training. So today I got a baby playpen to review. So this one is a baby fence with safety gates. So not only this playpen is for indoor and outdoor usage, but you can actually take it with you because it has a duffel bag in there. So it's easy for transportation. Once you open it up, there's a playpen itself and you have an instruction. So here are some of the connectors. One's T connectors, one's triangle connector, and the other one is triangle connector with suction cup. The one with the suction cup go onto the bottom of the playpen. And here's the duffel bag. Here are all the pipes that go onto the playpen. Now the one without any sleeves, those go onto the bottom of the playpen. And everything else will be either propping up the playpen or go on top of the playpen. First, you need to set up the bottom portion. Use the one without the cushion and place in through the sleeve and use this bracket with a suction cup and put the pipes in there. For the middle section, use the T pipe. But for all the outer edges, use the one with the suction cup. And one is long, one is short, so make sure the two same size go on one side, same size go on one side. So our strong is just long, 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 short, 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 short. So this is not a square, this is a rectangle. Yeah, so as you can see, I already set some of the side up. That's when I realized if you mix the length of the pipes, then you are not able to connect everything together. So just make sure that the same length go on one side and the other goes to adjacent side. So there are eight shoulder pipes with cushion. This goes to each corner and the center to prop up the playpen. Alright, again the top portion also has 
long and short. So if your bottom portion is long, 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 then use the long one on top as well. Uh, the short one, short, 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 you go on the short on the side. So just make sure the top and the bottom using the same size. Okay, so my final thought about this plate pan is that there are some good stuff and there are some bad things about it. So the good, obviously, is this thing is compact. And once you unassemble this, then you can just put it into the duffel bag and put it into a storage. It does not take all that much of space to begin with. If you show on storage at home, then this might be a perfect solution. And once your kit grown out of it, then you can just pack it up and store it away. And also, since you can just put it into a duffel bag and take it with you. So if you want to have a kid's play date, then this might be a good solution to take it to somewhere, indoor or outdoor, set it up, and then the kids can play in there. And also most of the pipes are cushioned. So if the kids bump into them, it won't hurt them as much. Now here are some of the bad things I don't like about this playpen is it takes a while to assemble. Now the instruction doesn't really help all that much. They should have all the pipes in same length. So that way, even without using an instruction, it will be easy to understand and assemble. But because the pipes are different sizes, so you just need to be really careful. Don't miss and match different length of the pipes. So that way you are relatively easier to assemble and also the top pipes length have to match the bottom ones as well. But aside from that, this playpen is actually decent. Uh, it doesn't wobble as much. I mean, if the kid's gonna shook on it, it will wobble, but aside from that, it's pretty sturdy. It is a decent playpen to have. So anyway, if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.